State Farm Guy here, and in this video we will be uh, testing and reviewing The Buildings of Norway by Ola Haldor. This is uh, 233.64 megabytes to download. There's a massive amount of buildings in this pack. Uh, this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 on Rock Crawl for this test. And we're going to start with the uh, sheds, farm, and placeables in this first section. And then we'll look at the... Um, there is five cow barns, three sheep barns, and, uh, well, the hayloft we're going to be looking at with this. So, first section is going to be farmhouses, workshops, and hayloft, and sheds. And the second part of this video will be five cow barns and three sheep barns. Right. So first, let's start with the sheds. Uh, the sheds you can find under sheds. And there are four sheds. Uh, ranging from 10 slots for this one. Wait for it. 48 slots for this one on console. Uh, this one is eight slots and this one is eight slots Right, so we're going to be uh, taking a look at the, the sheds first uh, This um, has no lighting Doors open and close uh, What's nice about this one? It does have a little workshop trigger in here uh, You can customize and repair vehicles as long as you stick your nose into here it will recognize it so uh, anywhere inside or as long as something is touching the side of it there uh, it will recognize it moving up to the next shed the next shed has a lot of um, interesting decorations and so forth and so on uh, these doors do not open although you can see inside yes you can get in there this door opens and closes. There is a light switch here. By pressing L3, it will light this area as well as inside. There's a workshop and there's a light switch for this area as well. So yeah, um, lots of decorations and stuff inside here. And nothing I could see that you could really do. Uh, this is also just a customize or repair trigger. Uh, this door closes. And this door closes, and there's a third door here that you can open, but you can only open two two at a time. Or, well, actually, if you open the middle one, <clears throat> it's only the middle one, because if you open this one, then this one, you see what I mean? There's kind of sliding doors. So that's that one. The next one is just a plain old garage with no lights or work trigger or anything like that. Pretty plain and simple. Uh, this one is interesting because it does have lights. Here's the light switch here. And it's kind of, um, well, shaped like this. So you have a, a larger area here and a smaller area in here just for storage of whatever you might want to store in there. Mm, I don't know, bales or pallets or whatever you might, whatever you might want to store in there. Right. Now moving on to the next section, uh, let's look at the workshops and the workshops will be under tools and there it is, uh, the two workshops, 22 and 24 slots, whoa, uh, $35,000 each. So let's have a look at this one. This one, <laughs> so you can see I got the tractor stuck in here, um, so it's a little bit of a tight fit. Um, however, if you go inside, the work shop, shop trigger won't work for the interior. You have to be outside uh, somewhere around this area, as you can see here. However, it is nice. This one you can sell, customize, repair, or repaint um, the vehicles. So all the choices, which is nice. That isn't always you don't always see that on workshop triggers so other than that there's no no lighting or anything in this one the next one whoops next one over here is um, a little different design this one um, also has the customized repair repaint 
uh, I do believe, or sell. Or maybe not. I thought there was a sell option. This one is, uh, there we go. Uh, yes, sell, customize, repair, or repaint for that. So that's nice. Uh, you cannot get into the rest of the shed, though. It is, uh, these do not open. So, interesting there. Um, a little bit of a different style, I suppose. Um, let's talk about the farmhouses, and then we'll go to the hayloft. Uh, there are uh, nine farmhouses. You'll be able to find them under buildings and farmhouses. And here they all are, quite a number of them. And uh, let's look at the first one here. Uh, buildings, yeah, so there's lots, lots of them. I think uh, this one was, yes. So this one, is it? Yeah, it's this one here. Uh, you can change the color on the houses. That's why I didn't recognize it right away. So they, you can, you, on all of them, you can change the color. That's this one back here. Uh, slots range from, I uh, believe it was nine slots to 12 or 13 slots. Right, and so, Prices vary, as you can see here. Yeah, you'll get the idea. Uh, they all, they all. Oh, that's a nice blue. So let's uh, let's have a look. None of them that I could find you can get inside. Some of them have wardrobe triggers. Some of them have just a sleep trigger. This one and this one just have sleep triggers. This one has a little interesting basement suite. Uh, more sleep triggers. Uh, which one had the wardrobe trigger? This one. So we have a set. Yeah, we have two here. Yeah, just the two have a wardrobe trigger. Not that I ever used the wardrobe trigger, really. But, um, I suppose. So, uh, wardrobe. There we go. I don't look like that. And a sleep trigger. So... There is the houses. Now let's uh, let's mosey on over to the hayloft, which is a bit of an interesting and a bit of a enigma, if you might ask me, for this hayloft. Um, a little bit strange. Um, right. So this is going to be found under silos, and there it is, hundred thousand dollars, Buhold hayloft. Uh, notice the capacity. There's a lot of zeros there, as far as I can tell, a billion, with a B, a liter's capacity. Um, that's pretty large hayloft, if you ask me. There's, there's, there's nine zeros, so that's a lot of zeros. Um, so, input is in an extremely odd place, if you ask me. Um, uh, let's take a look at what it will hold first, which is does have a little bit of an oddness to it as well. Let's hook up here. This is the output, which is convenient. Output. Potatoes. Yes, it, um, it holds potatoes as well as silage, grass, straw, hay, potatoes. Uh, grass, straw, and hay. Did I say straw and hay? Yes. So it holds all these. Uh, how fast does it unload? Um, well, compared to the capacity of a billion, a bit, I bit my tongue say, a billion liters, it, it unloads extremely slowly. Um, that's very disappointing. I would not use this at all for that reason. Plus this reason up here, is this is how you have to unload product into it you have to back into the up this ramp to oh, 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 oh and pe people of my reversing skills there we go so that's that's the input now it works fine once you get up there but um that's 
pretty ridiculous. Now, uh, hold on a second. I'll get some bales to just show you how the bales, they do go in there. Right, so I got a straw bale here, and uh, let's see if it'll go in down here. No, no. Yeah, you got to uh, go all the way up here. And there, that's where it goes in. As you can see there, uh, you can't get inside here. There's no drive-through. There's kind of an odd underground thing that happens here. Um, I would avoid, that. honestly, I would avoid this thing at all costs. This is a Frankensteinian <laughs> abomination, in my opinion. Um, so, unfortunately, that's, that's... A, the only thing nice about it is a capacity, but you'll never, it'll take you like 40 years to remove a billion liters at that speed. That's, that's just, um, it's just not feasible to actually use. Right. So <clears throat> that is everything except the animal pens. Now, if you were waiting for the animal pens, you could have fast forwarded through this section, uh, and get to the animal, animal pens. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to clear the clear the deck, and we're going to set up the animals, um, and we're going to test that out. All right. So I thought I'd do the sheep first because I thought it would be easier, and boy was I wrong. Um, so, <laughs> anyways, uh, sheep. There are three sheep pens with this pack. We have the hundred and fifty thousand dollar. Old uh, Bergeton Old Sheep Barn, 24 slots on console. This is a very curious, indeed, sheep barn, uh, which I will explain right now. Uh, well, or in a moment, uh, we, we have also the Ivar Sheep Barn, which has an interesting uh, kind of a feature. And then we have the Sendvid Garden Sheep Barn. Right, so... <clears throat> The first sheep barn, they all hold 200 sheep, as you can see here, but <laughs> uh, let's talk about this one first. Um, this has an extremely odd and kerfuffling um, feature here. Uh, this contains two productions. We have the sheep food input, which is over here, uh, oddly enough. You can't go in there. Uh, it just goes in there. And then we have this, which I thought was the sheep food, but it is not. And there's a little trigger here. There's a... <laughs> it's a silage. Uh, right here. There we go. Old sheep barn. It is a silage production, which we will turn on. <clears throat> 200,000 liters of grass, and it will convert it into silage at 1,200 cycles a month at 500 in, 500 out, which is quite interesting. Um, but very confusing and um, the trigger for the food is over here for the sheep food so if you're trying to put sheep food in here um, it's not gonna it's not gonna show up in your sheep food uh, 1 million liters of food is contained in this sheep barn which is I think excessive but we'll see and it took me a minute to uh, to put that in uh, it will take uh, bales and uh, grass and hay bales. It'll convert it to grass as well as this. I believe just grass. Um, I was putting loose grass in. Um, we already had, by the time I finished filling these all up, we've already got some wool, so that's interesting. Um, and as you can see, i uh, probably be able to take this uh, so... Mm, uh, I guess it's still full. Right, well, whoa. We'll show that in a minute. So that's turned on. And that's going to be interesting. A uh, little bit awkward backing in. Um, the I used the Omatana 200,000 liter trailer to get it backed in here. That was a bit awkward. Uh, let's go on to the next one. The next one is just as curious for a very different reason. Uh, it also holds 200 sheep. The sheep trigger is here. 
Uh, where is it? There it is. Animal triggers here. However, it only holds 10,000 liters of grass. Um, yes, that's as I thought the wool appears up here. Uh, yeah, 10,000 liters of grass. That's going to be gone before I even finish doing this video, probably. It's already down by a bit. It's not going to last. I know that for sure. Um, so that's uh, unusable. Uh, moving on to the last one. The last one is just a sheep barn. The sheep trigger is uh, the buy trigger, animal trigger is here. And this one too has a very strange oddness to it. Uh, looks very nice. Everything seems to be okay. Uh, food goes in here. Um, however, uh, it will only take bales. Uh, there we go. Bales in. Uh, it won't take loose. I've tried two different kinds of trailers to put loose uh, grass in. It won't take any loose product. So bales only. Uh, and uh, also a million liters. At, we're at 500,000. And it's halfway. So I'm going to say, yeah, a million liters of food. Um, oddly enough, this one has gone down. This this is They've been eating some of... Uh, they've ate some of this already. This is still at a million liters, oddly enough. But we're going to go ahead in time, uh, a month in time, and obviously this one's going to run out of food pretty much right away. You could always stack a... Uh... There we go. It's it's full again. We're going to... You can always stack uh, bales up on uh, the input area. And it will take them as needed. So that's one way to expand the capacity, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. Uh, right, so we're going to go ahead in time and see what uh, happens here with these. All right, so we're back and looking at the... Uh, it's used 10,000 liters of food. So why does it have a million liters capacity? I don't know. Uh, as for the production, uh, wow, it has blown through that uh, 200,000 liters. So silage, let's uh, let's hop in. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Um, I won't be able to use this. Let's just go grab a different trailer. I'll show you where the input uh, or the... Uh, Come on, hook up. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> right, so. Um, you can drive in or back in, uh, whichever is most inconvenient for you, I suppose. Um, I'm going to just drive in here to show uh, the uh, loading. Start filling. Uh, oh, looks like you can take out the grass out of the, sh uh, not the sheep barn, but the um, silage. Uh, filling quite slowly, as you can see, but um, yeah, you can produce silage out of the sheep barn, which is kind of odd, uh, but interesting. Um, of course, silage can't be used to, for anything sheep, uh, so that's um, that's interesting. Um, so to show you, uh, what is this? We got hay here. Does the yeah, so it doesn't take hay bales, but the sheep barn will take hay bales and turn it into grass. Uh, do I have any grass bales left? Probably not. Uh, hay, hay, hay. Yeah, so, um, and there's there's the wool stacking up. That's good. Um, yeah, so loose and uh, grass bales will go in here grass and hay going here for the sheep so that's that one the next one um quite quite expectingly expectantly has run out of food so we're uh we're toast on this one um i wouldn't use it <clears throat> although the input is very convenient the uh where the wool spawns is not convenient. Um, right. And finally, 
the one that only takes bales, which is also con inconvenient. Uh, we see the sheep wandering in here too. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's the wool spawning there. Um, I suppose it doesn't need that many bales. If it doesn't, uh, probably only they only eat about 10,000 liters of uh, grass per month. So there you have it. That is the sheep barn. The next thing we're going to look at is uh, the... Uh, wait, how many of them? <laughs> uh, five cow barns. So uh, we're going to set that up and uh, we'll see you in a moment. All right, so here we are with the barns and um, we have an interesting assortment of cow barns here to say the very least. Um, five cow barns. Let's see where they are first and then we'll have a little chat, shall we? Um, $300,000 for this one. It will, it's the largest of the uh, five. It'll hold 200 cows. The next one is this one. Uh, it will hold 60 cows. Third one is this one at $120,000, holds 80 cows. This one uh, holds 125 cows at $300,000 and $230,000 for this one holding 65 cows. Uh, slots are between uh, 17 and 12 and 17-ish. Uh, they vary in range. Now, I've put uh, manure pens uh, around all of them. The first one here, uh, the animal triggers here, 200 cows, food in here. I'm guessing milk here. We're going to test that, of course, and we have a giant slurry pit over here. So obviously slurry out there. Capacities are 100,000 food and 200 or 22,000 straw. If we take a look up here, they all do that except this one. And we'll talk about this one next. The next one is uh, very strange indeed oh you can't go inside the buildings or anything not this this one is all enclosed that's it it's all outside you can't get inside period uh this one um this one has this strange indent thing that it does here um the animal trigger is here although um yes none of them take straw bales of course this one does not have a food input that I could find anywhere around it. These poor cows are going to starve to death because there is no input for food. At least none, no triggers are showing and I went around it. I couldn't find anywhere that it would take food. So this one's a pure dud, 100% um, broken. Uh, the next one is um, odd as well. We have an up, upper area, which is just for storage. Uh, we have what appears to be doors sunken into the ground that don't open. So decoration only. Um, we have a slurry output. We have the animal trigger here. This is the 80 cows. And here's the input. Um, milk i'm guessing is over here food input is here however it is uh quite sticky to get in here uh this has an interesting feature of a silage compaction area fill level chaff compacting yeah um again does not take straw in bales so forget that um straw and food go into this um I would suggest a small trailer, uh, although 100,000 liters is a, a lot to carry in with a small trailer. The next one is the one with 125 cows. Food goes in here, food and straw, no bales. I'm looking at this, it's either milk or slurry, I'm not sure which one. Uh, if we have a walk around the building, uh, oh, I'm probably gonna say this is milk here and slurry. We're going to test them, so don't worry. Um, manure, a manure thingy and an upstairs, no lights. This door opens and closes, just storage up there, as far as I can tell. And this as well, just a storage area. It's not a compacting area or anything like that. 
Um, the doors do this. You can only open one door. Lights on or off. Yeah, op open one door at a time there. And the last one over here seems fairly normal. Um, probably more normal than the, than the rest of them. Uh, milk, I'm guessing, there. We're going to test that, of course. Again, uh, food goes in here. No bales, straw, and TMR, or whatever you want to feed them. Uh, the animal trigger, 65 of them. And slurry out here. Uh, we do have a storage area. No lighting. Right, so that's the uh, quick nitty-gritty uh, run through of the five barns and we're going to uh, go ahead a month and see if uh, what what transpires all right we're back and uh, let's see what have has happened uh, we got milk straw is almost all the way down slurry is um, being produced and food is down to about a third uh, on this one here right so uh, that's per that's not bad uh, manure no manure caught here uh, that's a problem um, I wouldn't let me put it any closer I guess I could have done the override but I don't like doing the uh, toggle free mode so Perhaps in another spot, maybe it would have been better. I'm not sure. At this point, uh, this this whole package seems a bit broken to me. Uh, this one's not going to produce manure because we couldn't get any food in it. This one, uh, this is as close as I could get the manure pen to. And we have manure here, so uh, we know that's working. As far as food, etc., etc., uh, where am I going to get my uh, info trigger here? Doesn't look like. Oh, where we go? Is it? Ooh, come on, there we go. Uh, animal. Oh, oh, there's a dead cow. Well, wow, that's not a good sign. Um, I'm not getting the field information off of this barn. Uh, we'll have to look into here. I believe it was this one. So this one fared a bit better. Of course, it's only 65 cows. Right. So third one. There we go. See, now I'm getting the cow barn pop-up trigger there. Um, this is the uh, 125 cows. And uh, milk, straw, slurry, everything seems to be uh, pretty good here. So that looks good. And if we run over to the other one. So obviously the one is broken completely. You can't get food in. So that pretty much hoops that one. Uh, this one, eh, not getting a, a manure. Yes, yes, we have manure. That's good. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so 60, that's the 65 one. So they all look like they're, they're, they're doing okay with the capacities of food and so forth. Even the one with 200 cows. All right. So first let's test the slurry. Make sure it all dispenses properly. I, I've, don't think I really we really have problems with slurry usually start filling slurry okay that that works test the next one I think uh, in my opinion here if I'm going to uh, start talking about my opinion or review of this package um, I think there's too many of things yeah that works um, lots of cow barns um one of them doesn't work uh the rest of them are awkward or difficult except for maybe one i would have said you know instead of having five cow barns how about just make one cow barn and make it well okay that one's good um same with the farmhouses why why nine farmhouses um two or three maybe would have sufficed 
um, having all these items in a package just leaves leaves things open to be broken or trying to get all those I don't know I just it is too much stuff too much stuff going on here I think it would have been time well spent if uh, you would have narrowed he would have just done uh, maybe one or even just two of each uh, it's my opinion anyway, I'm not a modder I don't know what it is but anyways the, it has taken me an enormous amount of time to test these mat milk that milk trigger works that's good again broken barn to the left uh, milk trigger is on this one over here uh, some interesting features uh, with the sheep barn and the silage production um, kind of an odd combination yeah that milk trigger works um, interesting um, having the uh, silage compaction in the cow barn is uh, interesting as well oh that's that's the slurry where's the milk trigger at the front right so apologies to uh, anyone that if this is taking too long that that works but I do need to test out all of these things to make sure they do work or what works and what doesn't so that you are well informed when deciding whether or not to uh, choose this mod and uh, I, I would uh, yeah okay that that one works uh, right, so I do, believe, I do believe we captured manure in all of these. Yes, so those are all good. That one was good. So the only one that uh, I think it was just my placement of the manure pit on this one. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is to uh, make sure we are going to silos we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get this CSA overlaps with other objects so I'm going to uh, toggle free mode and put it nice and tuck it in right here I know it's blocking the trigger but we want to make sure that this thing is going to collect manure so we're placed it here uh, if you want to know where, let's get in here. All these triggers here, this is where food and straw go in. I showed you all the triggers. That is where they go in. If you're having trouble putting it in, um, then you're using a wrong trailer. See, that should happen right there. It's very generous. The trigger areas are quite generous. So there's that that's where both food and straw go in and we're going to see if we can collect manure on this one uh, so we'll be right back all right so that's what it was we have manure here so it was just too far away um so i mean if you're having a little trouble if you having a little trouble collecting manure um on any barn for that matter i would suggest uh, trying a different position moving it a little bit closer or have it using the toggle free mode to uh, place it closer uh, to the barn. And there you have it. That's the Buildings of Norway by Ola Haldor. 233.64 megabytes to download. Quite a few pieces in there. Nine farmhouses, two workshops, four sheds, five cow barns, three sheep barns, and a one hayloft. Uh, it has had a change log uh, for um, a hot fix. Um, but it seems there are quite a number of other things still wrong with it. So uh, use it at your at your own risk. Um, I have shown the problems that I have found with it. So uh, there you have it. Thank you all for watching. I'm Louie Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.